Hello and welcome to the demo of the Channel Engine software. Today I'll be showing you what we can do within the software and how we will be able to maximize your business goals online and make sure you have full control of the marketplaces. This is the first step of Channel Engine, the dashboard. Within the dashboard, we have visualized how you can make a connection with your backend to the different marketplaces and online sales platforms that you want to sell on. On the left hand side, you will see how you can make a connection to your backend. This connection can be made through using product feeds, to connecting to our open API keys, or using one of the plugins for your carrier or your e-commerce platform. From these sources that can be combined, we reel in all the different product data that you might have. Images, attributes, stock levels and price levels included. We combine this information in Channel Engine. Normally, we take in the product content once a day with the images and attributes. And every 15 minutes, um, we get all the stock levels and the price levels. Combined in Channel Engine, you can see in this example, there are 9041 products of which through business rules, uh, different selections are made and these selections contain products of the same brand, maybe products with the same margin, and same price levels. Of these 9,000 products, 3,388 are sold on Amazon Germany and 4,275 on Bol.com, for example. When these products are published, you will get the possibility to have the sales on a marketplace if a product is sold, we receive this order, make a reservation for the product so you don't sell the same product twice, and publish the order to your backend with the connection that you've made. When you've shipped this order, you'll be able to update track and trace information in your backend. We'll pick this up, publish this to the marketplace. In this way, the marketplace is fully aware of how fast you ship your orders which will increase your seller performance. This flow is not only for orders, this flow is also for the returns. So whenever someone files a return at the marketplace, we can receive this, publish it to your backend. And when you accept this return, we can let the marketplace know so they can do the refund. Now, if we go and look inside one of the channels, as I opened Amazon Germany right now, you will see that we set up the platform from left to right. The first step dashboard is actually the last step where you can check all the metrics and I'll show that in a later step. The product selection is made for every marketplace specific. So you'll be able to make a product selection based on different criteria as I can show you right here where you have the possibility to in or exclude certain brands. Using if and end ruling, you can make this selection as varied as you would like yourself. So we have the possibility to add a stock reservation. We have the possibility to add a price minimum, or maybe if you send us your price as well, I have the possibility to add a margin minimum. As you can see, these product selections can contain multiple different settings and you can make multiple product selections for a marketplace. So you'll be able to add different price rules for different product selections. These price rules can be based on this product selection and therefore you have the possibility to add different price rules for different margin groups. If you have a product group that has a high margin, the percentage discount you can give might be higher. And here you can set a different date from minimum price and a maximum price and round off to 99 or 95 cents. This way you always have nice prices and you will be able to control your discount periods, your sale periods from the first day of the year and plan them ahead for the entire year. As you can see on the level, we'll be able to add the listing that I've just made. Next to the static price rules, we have the possibility for dynamic price rules. 
these can be done via our repricer and within our repricer you make a selection for one of the listings that we did before as you can see containing 2821 products and for all these products we can let you know what your competitive pricing is so this is one example from the 2800 and here in the right bottom corner you can see who is your competition on this example product the competitive overview contains names ratings reviews the price and the shipping costs and the shipping time that the different seller maintains you also see if they're using a fulfillment by amazon or lvb and you can see if they're the buy box winner based on this information you'll be able to create your own uh, minimum and maximum prices that you would want the channel engine to be able to play with and there we can make the changes to your prices on the marketplace on an hourly basis, for instance decreasing the price by one euro per time targeting the buy box targeting a fee reduction or just making sure that you have the lowest price from your competitors obviously this is not all that we do and the scenarios that are included in the platform amongst others are based on if you have competition yes or no if the lowest price is below your minimum yes or no and if you want to compete with for instance the marketplace or sellers that have a very bad rating Now when we continue, we can see that uh, there's a content part in Channel Engine as well. And the content part consists of the categorization and the mappings. And the categorization in Channel Engine is basically making sure that whenever some consumer filters on a product group, that your products will be shown there as well. We do this by including product categories that you have in your backend making sure that we link them to the categories of a specific marketplace we have the possibility to map this automatically to browse for a category whenever it's not added or to use rules if a name contains this it will be that category now as I said, this is we do this for a filtering option, so a consumer knows that your products are in a specific category. Because for every marketplace and every category, there are different mappings required. The mappings that are required can be shown in the mapping screen from Channel Engine. We show this by using a color-coded system. So green is required attributes are completely filled in products are ready to be sold on a marketplace blue is the optional attributes and orange is the required attributes but they are not completely filled this is one of the strengths of the channel engine platform here you can click on a specific category where it's not completely filled and you have the possibility to add the different fields that are not filled yet so here you can see that collection is not mapped three options apply you have the option to add a fixed value so the collection could be summer 2020 you have the option to add one of the custom fields so maybe you have collection but it's just named differently like in this case and you have the option to use advanced rules if the title has this and this in it the value is y so for the content, the option mapping is also a big plus where you would have your own options that are always the same within your backend when you make a direct translation. So if you have a Dutch color coding, we can translate it to English colors. Next to that, you always have the possibility to override right here. For the offer mappings, there are two things I want to highlight first one is that we'll be able to map your prices here before reprice rules so that could be regular prices could also be business prices the second is that we have a fulfillment override option within the fulfillment override we take in the stock that you have at for instance amazon or bowl and we fetch the stock levels there and we make sure that we sell the products that you have in their warehouse first 
but if you sell them out we make the switch automatically to your own warehouse so mer merchant fulfilled whenever you've replenished the amazon warehouse for instance will automatically make the switch back to their fulfillment this way you will not run out of stock whenever Amazon runs out of your products, um, but you will always be able to sell. Basically, the overview of adding new channels is made in these four steps. From the product selection, categorization, mappings to the pricing. The listed products step is the one where you can see what is actually going on. And you can monitor your product performance, but also and like in a dashboard step, but also you can see if products are not being published and what is the reason for that and we show this status and reason which may be a bit abstract for you and we get that but this is the import that we get from the marketplace we have dedicated customer success managers that help with finding out these reasons even more specific that have all the knowledge from a marketplace to make sure that you can be selling as much as possible and they will give proactive advice on how to set up channel engine and how to make the most of your marketplace sales. In the dashboard step, you will see the benefits of this. So you can see the sales compared to last month. You can see the listed products and it's just like the overview I just showed you, but then in a the diagram and we can show you the time of buying. These order status here on the right can also be shown by opening the order overview. In the order overview, you have the possibility to export for a certain period of time all your orders or your invoices. You'll be able to check if uh, the marketplace has sent you the correct invoice. If we open one of these orders, I can show you what the order line contains. So this is one of the order lines you would receive also with the export of the previous page where you would have a revenue total, the commission that you pay for this order to the marketplace and a VAT percentage that applies to the marketplace in this country. I want you to be aware that you have VAT rate settings within the channel engine software and you'll be able to add VAT numbers to make sure that the right VAT percentage at the right threshold applies. In this screen, I can also show you the invoices. The invoices are translated in the customer's languages and can automatically be sent to the customer. For products, we have two fields that I want to highlight. One is the product translation option. So we have the option to translate your product information in Channel Engine. There are currently two translation services, the Google Cloud translation services and the DeepL translation service. And with both of them, you have the possibility to take your select your source language and translate it to the destination language where you want to scale in, for instance, in Germany. The fields that you can select over here could contain description, sizes and colors. And you can see that it's possible to add this for a specific marketplace. Here you will get an overview in an Excel of the different uh, translated values. And you can use this as input for the marketplaces. Second thing I'd like to show you in the products are the product bundles. So adding a product bundle is as easy as typing in a name of a product. For instance, a backpack with accessory. And with this combination, you'll be able to add another new EAN number and merchant product number and the name for this bundle. This bundle will be created virtually, so it will be in our system published to the marketplace. They will view this as a separate item with its own product detail page. Because of that, you have the possibility to have your own marketing done at the specific page. And whenever the sales being made, your average order value will be higher than if you would just have sold one product. In Channel Engine, when we receive an order that is from a bundle, we split in different order lines, making sure that it's completely recognizable by our backend. And we will also take into account the different uh, stock updates for the quantity.
in the statistics page, we have a complete statistics overview, very similar to the dashboard in a specific channel, but then aggregated over all the channels combined. And in the channels page, there's an overview of all the channels that we have in Channel Engine. As you can see in this channel overview, you will just be able to add a channel by clicking add button. And if you've clicked the add button, it will lead you to the setup of this specific channel with also giving you the relevant help pages that you need in case something is unclear. From this new channel, product selection can be made by copying an existing listing, the categories and mappings can be applied and the price rule set in a channel before. These are the only four steps you need for this channel to go live. So there you have it, the overview of the Channel Engine platform. If there are any questions, please feel free to reach out 